Hello everyone, welcome back to Lead Coding. On this channel, we discuss problems which are frequently asked in programming interviews and we try to build up a step by step solution to those problems. We discuss the space and the time complexity of each of these solutions and try to build up the most optimized solution out of these. So, the problem which we are going to discuss today is the product of array except self. This question has been asked in many companies such as Microsoft, Facebook, Amazon, Goldman, Google, Apple, Adobe and Uber. So let us look at the problem statement. We are given an array nums of n integers where n is greater than 1. We have to return an output array such that the output i is equals to the product of all the element of nums except nums i. So let us say that we are given an array which is equals to 1, 2, 3 and 4. In this case, we have to generate an output array which is of the same size of the given input array and there should be four elements. The element which is corresponding to 1 should be the product of all the elements except 1 in this array. So that is the product of 2, 3 and 4 that is equals to 24. Similarly, for 2, it should be the product of 1, 3, and 4, which is equals to 12. For 3, it should be the product of 2 and 4 and 1, which is 8. For 4, it should be product of 1, 2, and 3, which is 6. So this is how we can generate the answer for this. Now, one simple approach could be... Now, the first approach that we are going to discuss, let us say that the given array is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. For 1, we can multiply all of these elements. So, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 elements. So, it is going to take 6 iterations for this. For 2, again, it is going to take 6 iterations. For 3, again, it is going to take 6 iterations when we are multiplying 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Again, it is going to take 6 iterations for these and so on. So in total, if there are n elements, it is going to take n minus 1 iteration for each of the n elements. So this way, we would end up in big O of n multiplied by n minus 1, which is equivalent to big O of n square. But it is given that we should solve this problem without using division and in big O of n. So Second solution, if we were allowed division. So in that case, if we had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7, we could multiply all of them and let us say that the product of all of this is equals to, let me calculate. So the product is equals to 5040. 0, 0. Now for the first element, the answer is 5040 0, 0 divided by 1 which is equals to 5040, 0, 0, 5040. For the second element, it is 5040 0, 0 divided by 2, which is equals to 2520. For the third element, it is 5040 0, 0 divided by 3, which is 1680. So while when we are calculating this product of all these elements, which we are using big O of n time here, and when we are generating answer for each of the indices, we are again using big O of n. So the total time complexity is big O of n and the space complexity is big O of 1. But we are not allowed to do this solution as the division operation is not allowed. Let us move on to the third approach which is acceptable which is going to solve this problem in big O of n and big O of 1 space. Now let us look at the solution. Let us say we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Now what can we do for let's say for a particular element to generate answer we should have the multiplication of all of these elements multiplied by all of these elements. So First, we can generate the product of all the elements which are on the left hand side of a particular element and then we can look at this part. So initially I will be ignoring the elements which are on the right hand side. 
So let's say I'm building up the solution and I'm only considering elements which are on the left hand side of a particular element. Initially, the product which is on the left hand side of one, this could be considered as one because there is no element. So we can consider that to be equals to one. So for one, the answer would be one. For two, it is the product of all the elements which is on the left hand side and there is only one element. So the answer for two will be one as well. And the product will, now the product will change. The product will now become two because it is the product of these two elements, one multiplied by two. When we come to three, uh, it is going to be two. And P will now change, P will become two multiplied by three, which is equals to six. So the product of the first three element is now six. When we go to four, the product is equals to P, which is six. And now the product will change. It is going to be six multiplied by four, which is equals to 24. So now for five, it is going to be 24. And the product will now change. The product will be 24 multiplied by five. This is going to be 120. Now for six, the answer is 120, but now the product will change. It will be 120 multiplied by six, that is equals to 720. For seven, it is 720. And finally, the product will be 720 multiplied by seven. So that is something which is not of our requirement. So we are going to ignore that. Now we have the product of all the elements which are occurring to the to the left hand side of per each element. Now we will repeat the same process from the right hand side. So P will be one initially. P is equals to one. For seven, the answer will be one. Now the product will change. It is going to be seven. For six, it is seven. The product will now change. It will be seven multiplied by six, which is equals to 42. So for five, it is going to be 42. And now the product will change. It will be 42 multiplied by five, which is equals to 210. So it is going to be 210 for four. Now it will become 210 multiplied by four and the process will keep repeating itself till the time we reach one. Now we are having for each of these elements, the product of the right hand side and the product of the left hand side. So we can simply multiply these two products and get our final answer. Now let us see how can we do this using a single array instead of two. So initially we are having P which is equals to one as we discuss. Then we will be going to each of these elements. I is equals to zero. I is smaller than num sort size. I'm keeping this as M I plus plus. And there should be a vector of int answer, which is of size n. Initially, there will be one in this. So now answer of i is equals to p. And p is equals to p multiplied by nums of i. We will repeat the same process from i is equals to n minus 1, i greater than equals to 0, and i minus minus. Answer of i, now we can simply multiply this. Multiply equals to p, and p is going to change p multiplied by nums of i. And finally, we are going to return the answer. But before this, we will have to declare p is equals to 1 again. So this is handling the left hand side and this for loop is handling the right hand side. So let us try to submit this. 
it got accepted but the interview can ask us for to solve this problem using a single for loop so a single pass solution we can simply convert this solution into a single pass solution if we closely look at this part of the for loop so basically it is the same operation that is going on in both of these for loop we can calculate parallelly the product of left hand side and the right hand side let me show you how so let us say that we have p1 and p2 now p1 is going to handle the left hand side and p1 is for right hand side now the answer of i will be equals to answer multiplied by equals to p because there are only ones which are present in this answer so we can write it as answer multiplied by equals to p1 now p1 will be equals to p1 multiplied by equals to nums of i we can generate the index j which is equals to n minus n minus i minus 1 now this j is equals to this i so as i is increasing this j will be decreasing so now instead of this we can simply copy and paste this in the for loop and remove this part answer of j multiplied by equals to p2 and p2 is equals to p2 multiplied by nums of j so both of these loops are handled using this single for loop now let us try to submit this so we are getting the correct answer in this case as well this is a single pass big o of n time solution using big o of 1 that is a constant extra space so this is it for the solution if you like the video please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and please leave thumbs up you can provide me suggestions as to how i should make the future lectures whether they should be company wise problems or they should be topic wise problems and you can also provide me the specific topics which i can discuss in my future videos thank you